you want to develop that soon to where it's just so assumptive. Of course you want to fuck me. Who, want, who doesn't want to fuck me? Who doesn't want to fuck this? Dude, I'm a Greek fucking god. I just wonder what they gonna say about me. Yeah. Stand for something to die for nothing to start the discussion. One thing I learned from Nipsey if that's how they get But it's, it's still tough. It's like where the girls start chasing you and time equals attraction. That's when you hit into advanced or high intermediate, I'd say. Um, but like, long, long story long again. Um, that's a common mistake. I, a lot of guys who I do coaching calls with, they say, like, how do I go for the kiss? And they, why are you going for the kiss? Why, like, why is that exactly. your goal? Like, they have it in their mind. The goal is to have that moment in the car at the end where they're, like, looking at each other, and then they kiss, goodnight kiss, and then that's the end of the date. That shouldn't be the goal in the first place. Uh, exactly. Like, why, what does that, I mean, if that's what you really want is to kiss a girl, but probably not, so why not just go for the pull? Then think about how to escalate, oh, yeah. not to kissing, but to a little bit, something a little bit more intimate. Yeah, and, uh, and I'll say this too, like when you, when, you, when you get a kiss, it kills the tension. You want the girl not knowing she likes you. You want to constantly be, that's actually why indirect direct, it's another reason why indirect direct is so powerful. You're like, hey, what's your name? I guess now, now because I say it like that, now I can take it away. Maybe the girl has a boyfriend, and now because she has a boyfriend, I can switch to her friend without her being like, oh, I'm, second, I'm sloppy seconds. She can backwards rationalize it. Oh no, he wasn't even hitting on my friend. He just thought I was cute and I was special. Now she can do it that way. But if I go in direct, if I go direct, now it's like, now she feels like slot these seconds to get rejected. Um, but back to the question, Ed, like basically, whenever you kiss a girl, it like takes away the tension. She knows you like her now. Um, not to mention, like, you need to really make her horny. The only reason I ever kiss a girl is if I feel like she's lacking in, uh, in uh, comfort or lacking in uh, a comfort. Basically, she thinks I'm out of her league. She doesn't know if I like her. Um, so I'll make out with her. So I'll make out with her or kiss her so she knows that it's, it's actually like a non platonic date that I actually care about her or like her. All right. Yeah. So I'm not going to go by name. So B, just for the sake of YouTube. Um, with your biggest sticking point, I think, I, I thought about it a little bit after we talked about, because you went on a date with a girl, it was a long date, you ended up like making out with her, but then she wouldn't go back to the room, right? She ultimately, and based on what I've seen in your interactions, based on what I've seen so far, I think the reason is not probably lack of comfort, probably you're pretty good with that because you've got a very calm demeanor and you're intelligent and you just have that kind of energy where people can trust you. So I think that's probably not the problem. I think it was just not enough like raw sexual tension. Um, that's pretty common too, because men, society teaches men to be ashamed of creating that sexual tension. Because think back to middle school, if you were to get a boner in middle school, what happens? Are, are, is everyone like, wow, that's so cool. Like, yay, he likes her, <laughs> you know, they're gonna fuck. No, what happens is you get laughed at, right? You're embarrassed about it. So you learn to be embarrassed of that energy. Uh, here's maybe a weird sounding question. Uh, but how much during that date did you feel like turned on? It was a couple of times. Like okay. I said, um, so we were talking about Adam, but I said there's a steak in my pants. There's a what? There's a steak in my pants. You said okay. I said, yeah. Um. <laughs> maybe maybe I'm wrong. Maybe you're <laughs> too much sexual tension, <laughs> and it's the comfort that's lacking. <laughs> it was a random, another particular date. There was a couple of times where I did escalate. Okay. Um, and, and we started, we started dancing in front of the dance Actually, like singing in the ring. We okay. Singing in the ring was playing. I was like, hey, dance with me. And she's like, this is too classic. And I was like, yeah, like, I don't, like, my, my emotions and my thoughts don't matter. So what you do, what you do, like, start constricting and you're afraid to emote. So what you notice is, like, with guys that are popular, like, even as I'm doing the speech right now, do you see how Matt animated my face is? Guys that are not high in the totem pole, what they do is they go, okay. That's interesting. Like you see how like instantaneously it looked different? Yep. It's like, so, so with you, I, I think you need to actually work with animating your face a little bit more. So like when you're, like, when you're like feeling into a girl, like you're like, that's interesting. Like, like the, you need to be able to communicate more with your face. It's like, it, I feel like you're more suppressed and repressed and like that's actually a big issue with girls if they feel that way because it means that you must be that type of guy that's, um, how, how would you put it? Like, I've talked about this. Before. You're more logical, basically, right? You're very, you come across as very logical, Emotions. someone that you could, like, be a CEO, like, in a business board meeting with, like... You need to put a girl on the, on the emotional wave. Right, but less emotional, so more engaging their emotions. One way is just facial expression, well, just snake, like... the snake in your pants thing was actually... That yeah, was, yeah, yeah, yeah. Good emotion. <laughs> <laughs> that but but I'm not talking about what he's saying. <laughs> my, my, my verbal skills, when it comes to this, I can think pretty fast. That's good. But I think you're right about the 
demoting. I'm not very yeah. good at facial expression. Dude, I, I practice it in the mirror all the time. Like I'll sit in front of the mirror and like I actually I was talking to, I was talking to you about this. I actually didn't realize this when I was getting back into my game and shit, like trying to work my stuff, build my skills back after taking so long off of it. I realized I was smiling too big. Like, hey, how's it going? Like it looks. Do you see? Do you feel the energy off it? Watch it. Hey, like it's like uh, it's, it's almost apologetic. So what I started doing was like more like hey, like effortless. It's like I'm, like I'm trying to work and I need you to like me, so I'm doing a bigger smile. Watching your face and like watching how the emotions roll off of it will actually help you out. I'd actually be looking at people that get have the results you want, like actors and movie stars. That's and just then, what I was gonna say. Hey, hey. hey. Great two times. example, uh, two no, good examples good. that come to mind <laughs> of someone who's like they radiate with their body language that confidence and that just intensity would be Tyler Durden Fight Club would be one. And then second one, oh, there's another really good one. Californication. Or- uh, he's not bad. He's okay. Oh, Elliot Hulse. Damian. YouTube. Elliot Damian. Hulse. Okay. Elliot Hulse. Uh, Watch his videos. Guys. Watch the way he talks to the camera. Like, he's hitting you emotionally, not logically. Right? He's hitting you with emotions. But when you're a girl, like, think, how can I make it, even though your voice is a big part, like, you have a voice that you sound very calm, which is good, but it sounds like there's not a lot of variety mm-hmm. in the tones, the how loud you're talking, um, the emotions that you're injecting. So that's something you can practice is injecting more emotion into the way you talk because that'll impact the girls a lot more. And then the second thing with the date, another way you can build both comfort and attraction, and this is a crutch you can use, it's just to play the question game. Did I already, I might've already, I told someone that. Okay, play the question game, which is, it's a way to create a frame where it's okay to talk about like deep, emotional topics and to talk about sexual topics. So you just ask her, have you ever played the question game? She's going to say no, because no one's played the question game, unless she's met a lot of pickup guys, uh, <laughs> which is you know possible, I suppose. Uh, so you ask her, have you played the question game? She'll say no. And then you say, the rules are, we each ask each other interesting personal questions. You're allowed to skip if you don't want to answer, and we can't answer the same question twice. And you go back and forth. And so very simply, you can ask things that are like what your relationship with your parents is like, or what kind of what you value in friendships, or like things that are personal and that create an intimacy. Or you can also ask things that are more sexual, like about her first kiss. Has she ever had a crush on a girl? Uh, and then you slowly can escalate it to more and more sexual things, like what her turn, turn-ons are, uh, how she lost her virginity, you know, those kinds of things. So that's a way to add a lot of sexuality as well as a lot of comfort. And if you want some good examples of questions, there's something called the, I think it's the 37 questions that make people fall in love. It's based on a psychological study where they had strangers ask each other these 37 questions, and by the end of it, they reported feeling deep love for each other. Some of the questions are a bit goofy to me, but a lot of them are really interesting kinds of questions that build a lot of intimacy. Mm-hmm. And uh, I did this actually two months ago because I was actually having a similar issue, so I'm repressed too, naturally, which I know doesn't like currently look like it, but that's what uh, nine months going out consistently gaming does. Um, so what I did was I was like, I started watching, so I, I studied like the greats, the study of the guys that I want to be like. Like I consider Tyler and Julian still better than me in game. Um, I still think Tyler is a little bit of a better coach, but it's like impossible to get a one-on-one. I would say he's a better coach, maybe better in game, but I don't think he's the best coach to be honest. Yeah. So sorry um, if you're watching it. No, <laughs> don't don't take it, tear down my idols. So so one of the big things with, with Julian was facial expressions. So what I started doing was instead of like using words, instead of using words, I fo- like for an entire month, I focused on using facial expressions. So watch this. So like, let's say like Avery's like, hey bro, take out the trash. Eh, Why is that how I talk in your mind? <laughs> I'm in South Park. Uh, Butters from South Park. Apparently. He's like, oh my god, that John guy, the John and the that John guy in the couch, man. If I wasn't, if I wasn't a straight pickup artist, man, I'd do him in the butt. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah interesting. More saying that shit. Keeps going gay. <laughs> it's a theme. There's, there's, there's a lot of repressed rage, honestly. There's no reason oh. I speak in pickup artist. So uh, what he could do is like, so I, like, let's say he says that, like, says something about some bullshit about the trash. I'd be like this. And I just like do like that, just like him, fuck you, like but with my eyes, like, like if a girl says some stupid shit, I'm like, even if it's not stupid, it doesn't even have. Like you ask her if she's from California, Cal- she says she's from California, and you're like, okay, interesting. Right? You can just like in- give her a kind of slightly condescending look with the way you respond, like, hmm, okay, like you're disappointed. Give her the look of disappointment in her answer, and if you do it right, she's gonna start. Chasing you. You know how hot girls re- uh, reject guys or like tell a guy he's doing like some bullshit? So remember that, that girl that gave that fucking mean answer, the one that we talked about a few times, the one like, uh, you know, get the fuck away from me, whatever? Give her a look like this. Like that. Like, alright. Bye. Like, it's like that. You can even like, 
Um, you can communicate with people across the room. So sometimes I'll see a girl that I'm into, like, all right, all right, tell me how uncomfortable it is, by the way. So I did this with a client one time, and I was trying to ex explain to him how important eye contact was. And I told him about winking, because it's something I was working on at the time, kind of like doing cocky stares. So this girl comes around the corner, and she's like, this, she's a pretty attractive girl. I pull up her Instagram right now. We went on a few dates, and I stopped talking to her because I talked to a cooler girl that I like better. Um, and I don't, I don't Ouch. Have time to, I, yeah, true story. So she walks around the corner, and I'm like, watch. So I gave her like this eye contact, I was like this, I was like. And like she goes like this, she walks by me as I'm doing this, and she does a double take, she's like this. And then like he looks at me and he goes, should I go talk to him? I'm like, yeah, you should go talk to her. So he runs and goes, talks to her, gets her number. He comes back, she comes back to the table asking me for my number, and we went on a few dates after that. Like, 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 uh, it's, it's, it's so fucking stupid, such a slight thing, but every guy nowadays can't even fucking do that. It's like, you're afraid to step up to the fucking plate. You two have a very similar one. Um, you guys, like, your big thing is, like, you guys are codependents. You guys are such big love bugs. And you guys, but the, the problem is that you guys are, like, you guys are trying to make yourself smaller so that people will, like, not feel inferior next to you. The, the problem is that you guys are, so, like, you guys are, like, some bright fucking lights. You guys are some intelligent motherfuckers. Um, you guys need to stop doing that shit. Um, so, like, you have some habits. You're actually, you're actually, like, over the hill to a good extent. You're, you're starting to become this guy, but the problem is you now you have uh, lasting habits after the fact. It's like, you want to smile bigger, but you're not that guy anymore, but your, your habits are still carrying you through that. You're like, you know, sometimes you, you might feel a need to like kind of give a girl a little more. You don't know that you're a badass yet, so we gotta work on that. You're, you're getting there, you know you're becoming a badass, and you, you, I know you have all the, the backings of that person. Like, you're supporting your family, you run a business, you got all that shit, you work on yourself super hard, you eat clean, you, 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 you have all the backings, say you're 12 out of 10. Now we just gotta like get the, like the, the you know, on the outside to show that. Um, you, we need like, uh, like get you on more on the gratitude side of things. We need to get you like, we get, need to get you that backing. We need also to get you to focus on, instead of focusing on the reasons why a girl shouldn't like you. Like, when you walk up to a girl, it's like, you not know who the fuck I am? Like, I want you to like, have that energy. Like, I want you to be like, I, I want you to come up with the energy of like, I'm a rock star. Like, actually, it's really funny. I'll have girls sometimes be like, who are you? Like, in a way, like, are you famous? It's like, like legit, I get this sometimes. And maybe like, they're not saying that, but you're just so into those beliefs that you think they're saying I'm such a way, narcissist, it still essentially. Works. It still works. Like, right? it's so stupid. Like, I'm... Everybody has narcissism on different varying degrees. I think mine's pretty low, to, to be honest, but I know that girls want that like, hyper-confidence because it's, it's when, when, you, when you, so when you come across a girl and you try and talk to her, here's the funny thing. This girl's gonna want to choose somebody from her tribe mainly because if she chooses a guy from another tribe, that guy better be a tell of the hun. Because like, if she's gonna go fuck, frick a guy in another tribe, that guy's in another tribe. He can't support your baby. So that guy better be like a king in that tribe. It was great self-censorship, by the way. She's gonna fuck. Wait, frick. <laughs> yeah, a little too late there. <laughs> the, the way it's described is like, he's like, it's almost like, so if you watch somebody that, like, that's been doing game for a long time, like, the bike came from like a, like a hurt place versus a natural, they're like, they're so smooth and so natural, so sumptive. Like, I, I built that over time of just doing this for so long. Um, but like, you wanna develop that soon to where it's just so sumptive. Of course you wanna fuck me. Who, want, who doesn't wanna fuck me? Who doesn't wanna fuck this? Dude, I'm a Greek fucking god. Like that's the thing, mm. like that kind of energy, all right? Uh, like you gotta like, like legit, like sometimes I'll be like narcissistic with a girl. I'm narcissistic with my girl all the fucking time. I tell her what a Greek god I am all the time, dude. Like, I, like I'll, I'll tell her how hot I am. I'll tell her like I'm a dime, like it's like lucky as fuck to date me. I do, I, honestly, I think she's, she's way hotter than me. I personally think, um, like physically speaking. Uh, but yeah, all right, now with you, um, you actually do some things differently. You, you actually, the second you get into a set, you become a little disingenuous. Subtly, um, you also too like you, you get a little nervous and you, you got you just, your face slit, like twitches a little bit, but that, that will go away as you keep approaching because like the thoughts are actually what's causing it. So the self is always coming through. Like your face is always going to show. Like there's this thing when people lie. Sometimes they'll do duper's delight. Oh yeah, really? You know I'm a I'm a plastic surgeon. It's like duper's delight. I'm like if they get like a high off of it, your face is always showing like what you're feeling. So what we want to do is like when you when, when you. When you like, when you feel a certain way in your body, it, it's gonna show in your face somehow, some way. Like when those girls, when I was talking about those dimes that like I, for a second I got in my head, then they thought all of a sudden I was creepy to them. It's because I got in my head for half a second and it showed on my face and the girls read it. They don't know what it is, it's an aura. They, it's like an aura, they're psychic. It's not that. It's that the girls are actually, so where we put all of our intelligence into logic, they, they put their emotions into, their, 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 um, their, their intelligence into lot, into emotions, reading people, social dynamics. That's why girls are so much better. Girls have more of a developed prefrontal cortex because they're obsessed with CNN. All right, anyways, like long story short. Because you're obsessed with CNN. Yeah, basically like we need to like knock down that barrier with you. We need to work on the authenticity. You, dude, you already have like so much shit going for you. Like you already have like a really good masculine vibe to you, dude. Like you're like legit, like you're, 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 you're like if I were to ask you if you're a man, I'm pretty sure you'd be pretty confident. Yeah, dude, of course, I'm a man. 
But like at the same time too, when you talk to a girl, you feel like you have to put up a front. I actually think that you should drop the front for a little bit, go absolutely authentic, like, like legit, like radical honesty type shit. There's a book called Radical Honesty, I'd watch it if I were you, but it's like, it's so subtle with what you do. Like, it's like, oh really now? And you actually also build rapport too. You gotta break rapport with the tone when you're talking to girls. You need to talk with the girls the same way you talk to me or like any of us. Like if you talk to girls that way, like they'll be just like, like they'll be on you. Like that's, that's legit like the one number one thing you gotta work on right now. If you knock that out, like you're kind of like, Right, that's uh... That's what I was talking about. Uh, giving them a role, like a role of emotion. Yeah. Like what you're saying, breaking rapport and stuff like that. And yeah. Be willing to move. And I agree. For sure. mm -hmm. it, um, yeah, and break rapport with the tone. Yeah. You be like, you're like, oh really? That's so interesting. I heard you. I literally yeah, heard you say this in sense. Yeah. We can Sometimes ever... I, I, I'll get focused and then, you know, and I, I start thinking because, mm -hmm. like you said, not enough experience. Yeah. And I'm starting to think, and then it's like, and I lose my focus, you know what I mean? It's mm -hmm. like, and then I try to jump back on it, but yeah, for sure. Dude, yeah, like, but you're, you're like literally on the cusp. Sometimes, like, so there are like, there are two different problems, like, when it comes to, like, coaching. Like, there's two different, like, avenues for people when they really come to me. Either it's like a long route, or it's around to change their personality and whatnot. And then there's those people, like, like, you never know, actually. You weren't here for me. Um, there's like, like a rich, like, guy from South Africa, young kid, like just like a, like a very charismatic guy. He had like one or two things and he was instantaneously pulling models. He pulled like a, like a bombshell dime, like Asian, like third day of boot camp. And it's like, literally that's where you're at, you're on the cusp. So like, you don't have a long journey to get good now. Like you're gonna get really good, like better than the other people around you. But it's like, it's like that little hop that's gonna get you there. It's like literally just a few tweaks. Like for me, it was like a big personality change. For you, you you're already there, dude, you got lucky. You got like just a few little tight, you gotta tighten a few bolts up. So I used to have a hard time with like, like girls getting scared and whatnot. I actually use my face now to actually show them like I'm socially intelligent. So the girls look at my face. So usually for a lot of you guys, they're not good at that kind of stuff. Open palms. Open palms is actually a sub, it's actually biological. It's an indication I don't got a rock in my hand and it hits you over the head with. So people like, if you ever look at any culture, open palms means I mean you no harm. But I don't do that because I don't want to supplicate. I'm at a point now where I don't need to do that. Uh, I smile and I give them like authentic, positive, good energy. Like I'm your friend. Like I, I frame it in my head that they're my friends, so everybody should be your best friends. I'm a big mindset that most people should get. It's gonna allow you to get in the zone. Everybody's my best friend, nobody's against me. If I ever lose this, I always start, um, yeah. It's, it's all my thoughts. I actually run the thoughts through my head and I show the girl my, through my face, what I'm feeling. And then I, I, like it's an authentic emotion. I, I'm kind of acting in a way. That's actually how I, I want to set back. And she also gave a high laugh, which is good because it was a nervous, anxious laugh. But it was, like, it was also subtly kind of like turned on a little bit, but it's like high throat laugh. It's like, there's different types of laughs, but that one's like more like turned on. You can actually hear it. If you, if you like, so remember the face thing we're talking about? Um, what's the first emotion you feel off somebody's face when you like go plastic? You can actually do the same thing with voices and laughs. So like you can listen to laugh and like hear like the difference. Yeah, I was just thinking that I was like, ah, oh, you're not very intimidating whatsoever. Yeah. So that's why I slowed it down a little bit too. I'm also harder breaking report, but I'm also softening the tone. No, uh <laughs> Yeah, I'm authentically making myself laugh, even though I did, there was nothing about it that was funny. Here, I want to say hi. Yeah, no worries. Yeah, on shirts, pepper spray. I'm making a joke about her having pepper spray. Next time I come around, I think was what I was saying. So uh, I, didn't, I also didn't know you were gonna come through, and so I you didn't like introduce yourself in the set, so I was kind of like, oh, who's this other random guy? So I'm like, oh, he's my friend. I'm like, yeah, he's an egghead. So basically I'm saying you're smart. People it's still a good implication, wait. but like, right. I was afraid to talk about my sister on the thing. And like also too, I was trying to avoid the fact that, oh yeah, I'm a pickup artist. Well, you're, like you're sometimes girls look, like draw the lines when I start actually talking about what I do. Everyone says things like, well, like little verbal um, mistakes. Nah, that's, that's not a big deal. Yeah, we'll cut this one out. I never make mistakes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm invaluable. It's not a good <laughs> And I, I told them, like, hey, women's purpose is like something that people are missing out on specifically. If you start hitting that niche, I bet you make a lot of money. So she started working on it just like recently. Yeah, so it's just a bunch of like a weird ass stuff, weird family. Like, uh, I'll, I'll tell you this, I actually. I'm trying to avoid the box that most guys fall into. See, like, so I'm round about saying that I'm like a, like a hustler and I work my ass off, but not in a direct way. I'm not saying, like, oh, hey, girl, check out my rolly or something like that. Like every guy's like, oh my God, I dropped my Ferrari keys or something like that. Like, it's like these guys are like, money matters. Girl, check out my biceps. 
I lost one eighteenth of an inch off my biceps. You gotta check video, me out. Though. We gotta rent a Ferrari and then just keep dropping the keys on the cross. <laughs> All right, wow, well, your guy dropped the condoms. Oh no, it was my. It was it's the guy. Be XL Magnums. People always drop like there's. A, I don't know why everybody tries to make the joke of dropping Magnum condoms. It like, comes from it's always sunny in Philadelphia. That's actually uh, why, which I know you hate, but uh, that that's Frank's strategy from the show when he wants to uh, get laid. Is he's like, <laughs> oh no, I dropped my Magnum condoms for my giant dong. What am I gonna do? And then he drops money on the floor next to the condoms. So, <laughs> and his gym membership. And try that uh, at your own risk. Yeah, I'm here, and I'll speed this up too. I'll let it roll through so you can get through to you, so you can start doing the shit too. And also, I want to get out there and start approaching game addict. Christmas and New Year's. Oh, I love your answer. Hi, I'm my, my friends are all visiting. Like I, I have a lot of people from like different areas that was visiting and whatnot. Yeah, it's it's kind of hard to find people. Um, I don't know, they like that are kind of that are kind of have the culture that I want. So this is actually me being authentic right here. So sometimes when you run out of things to say, um, what I'll do like what I'll do sometimes is like I'll be like I'll, I'll look for the authentic answer. And I'll go over with the authentic answer. This is my authentic answer. I, I, my, my quality of friends are so high that I need to go to other cities to find those people. Because like I, I'm, I'm very picky with the people I surround myself with because I become them. There aren't enough people in Vegas that are that are the people that I want. So I don't. What the fuck's going on over here? What over where? <laughs> Look. Like, I'm guessing. I'm guessing he cheated on her. Oh, are they fighting? Yeah, but she's looking down on him too. I would. Oh. 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 I still read that. <laughs> I mean, he's trying, he's trying to apologize. <laughs> She's not oh, having it. So oh, I'm reading the so well. <laughs> hey, they succeeded. Uh, they got back together. Uh, she's gonna cheat on him. She probably already yeah. has. Maybe that's why they're fighting. Nah, he's, he did some bullshit though. She's probably a total pussy, and like, so she's she's making a complaint about nothing that it really matters. Hey, hey, gotta turn the camera. <laughs> yeah, turn the camera around. <laughs> These guys don't even know what this is going on right now. All right, back to the fucking video. Oh, man, it's getting heated. Baby, I'm sorry. Look, I didn't mean to. I slept with your sister, I know. I know she's fat. I know that it doesn't look like I have standards. No, fuck you. No, fuck you. It's over. No, baby, please, no. Where are you walking? This is one of the parking lot. You gonna stab me? <laughs> please don't murder me. Look, look, I know you're a lot bigger than me, and you can probably take me in a Which fight. Look, all right, fuck you. I'm not, I'm not gonna have this shit. No, no, I'm, I'm kidding. I love you. I love you. <laughs> baby, no, stop. Come back. Come back. <laughs> You should bring out the Magnum condoms. She's literally doing this just for like a game. Like if she actually wanted it out of there, she wouldn't be doing that. She's trying to play a little game with She likes them. the drama, probably. She likes the drama. Yeah. Which, red flag beware. The girl yeah, seems really like drama. Well, so what do you do in that situation? Like, leave. Leave? Long time ago. Yeah, yeah. that's a codependent narcissistic relationship. Yeah, okay. The one on the right is a narcissist. As the soon as you're not willing to leave, even a situation or a relationship, as soon as you're you. not willing to leave, it's a bad relationship. Never get used. used. And you're gonna be using each other. So hey, he wants to go out there and pick her up. <laughs> He's hey, yeah, right now. <laughs> She's still probably girlfriend. really down for any guy right now. Like, just like randomly walk by and be like, "Hey, I'm sorry. Are you okay?" Oh man, no. To go back to your boyfriend. He's such a nice guy. He's, yeah. He'll never leave you. He's so sweet. Do you important. see how we're doing this? Like the side, like what society thinks makes a guy good, but really biologically, it, it dries up her pussy. No, look. Look, you don't want to go for the bad, but look, see, I'm the kind of guy, honestly, where I've dated some girls in the past, and honestly, I've hurt a lot of people, and I look at your boyfriend, he's such a good person. You should go with this guy. Yeah. <laughs> Puppets. Puppets here, dance. Puppet dance. <laughs> you really want to get CNN, huh? Little jewels. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> we always joke that I'm like, well, I joke. <laughs> I don't joke, yeah. No, I joke about being a little you. Julian. Right here. Sometimes, like, so whenever I get, like, kind of, like, that kind of humor going, I joke them a little Julian. His reincarnation. Yeah, I'm reincarnation of Julian. Died. Yeah, he just says he died. He's <laughs> He's reincarnated as a... Something audio. A very nice guy. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm joking. I still like the guy. I'm joking. I still love the guy. It's just, like, I thought it was funny to say. <laughs> That's the thing with the motions, by the way, the facial expressions. So I'm asking getting to know interview questions, but that's okay because I'm going to use it to build off it. Basically I ran out of something to say. And so at this point now I'm like, all right, well, I'm going to get some offers so I can build off it, do like some improv. Ah, I was going to say, I like her energy. 
Like I'd be the weird LA person. I'm being authentic. I actually do like her energy. She has really positive energy. Like a, the friend? Oh yeah, but she's, she's like, I want to switch. <laughs> well, yeah, and it's also too sometimes good to say like her friend is really dope. So I'm actually saying this so too. I'm like, this is my friend too. I'm saying she's hella awesome. So when she talks to me, I'll talk like, I'll have micro expressions. Uh, somebody that's like, like, so if you assume somebody's your best friend, again, frame control, they'll become your best friend. So I'm saying this also partially for myself. She has to have really fucking awesome energy. So when she talks to me, like her friend's like, dude, he's dope, fuck him. Like, she's like <laughs> I don't care if you have a boyfriend, fuck him, he's awesome. Like, so now, cause I'm like, I'm assuming her, she's my friend so much. I'm gaming myself in this just as much as I am her. Like I know how to control my emotions and move my thoughts and my mindsets. So her to get called? She's checking on her girl again. Awkward? Awkward, it's fine. Is he always awkward though? She starts dissing on her friends. So you know what this is? So this actually, you guys want to know what this is right here? Narcissist codependent relationship. She only has like this friend right here because she, because she doesn't make feel insecure around her friend. So every time you see like a hot girl with like a girl that's like not necessarily so attractive, the reason being not all the time, but a high percentage of the time, it's actually ridiculous. Like remember when we were on the boot camp and like I pointed out that girl, and I said that girl's definitely like a narcissistic codependent relation. And we walked, no, it was with, it was, sorry. It was, it was, it was another client. Um, like whenever you see like a hot girl with a girl that's like very, like doesn't take care of herself, it's almost always a narcissistic codependent because this girl can't hang around other hot girls because that must mean that I'm not hot. She needs everybody around her to tell her how awesome she is all the time. So she's the leader, but she also means she's probably a shitty person. That was, a, that was a really late read, by the way, because I didn't see that in the moment. You just see the girl in the front, like, keep looking at her and stuff like that and supplicating. She's checking, like, she's doing it because she's the leader. Uh, so like a good if she was to be bigger than her, she'd feel insecure and she'd, like, start attacking her, trying to push her down. She's a bully. Yeah. Got you, got you. I have the low moments, too. Are you, uh, are you like, uh, are you uh, like, the reason I'm even saying this is because right now she's actually dissing on her friend after I said that. She's like, oh, no, she's not, she's not that great. And like, I'm like, oh, well, everybody has their little moments. So I'm like trying to be like, she's not that bad, dude. Like, what, she's already being asshole. It's not that great. Guys. Yeah, literally the first thing. I'm saying how awesome she is. It's like, oh, you know, I'm like, douchebag. Do you like put some anger to happiness or like one of those? Or like... This one right here, I'm trying to just figure out what kind of personality she is so I know how to kind of play it. Like there's a, there's a litany of different types of personalities and stuff like that. So I'm running through in my head. I'm actually doing the marriage break in my head really fast to try to figure out her type. So I know how to kind of run this and kind of know how she works. It also makes it more fascinating when I'm bored with the girl. So I, I like looking at people sometimes as puzzle pieces. Um, so like when I get bored in a set, sometimes like, all right, well, I'm gonna focus on something that I have uh, a lot of fun doing. So I'm gonna try to figure out, I like people. I like figuring out people like psychology. I wanna know how she works and how she ticks. So now I'm trying to break her down in my head. So I get reinvigorated in the set. So I'm actually engaged. It's because like if a girl senses, like, so if you approach a girl and you don't find her attractive, she'll sense it. So if I approach a girl that's not attractive, that's the, the harshest reje rejection I'll ever get. So I don't approach them to hit on them. I approach them to make a friend. Because I'm approaching the hit on them, what happens is now the girl's gonna be like, the, the girl's gonna sense it on some level that I'm not into her. She's gonna reject me so I don't reject her and hurt her feelings and make her feel lower in the totem pole. Um, so in this one right here, I'm trying to re engage my own personality so I don't give off that vibe that I don't like her. So that I look still engaged and intrigued so she doesn't reject me, but uh, auto reject me, fearing that I'll reject her. See how intensely I'm listening right now? I'm trying to watch her facial expressions because I'm trying to feel her out. So that I got myself re-engaged again. You see that? She was, she was boring as all hell. Like I was talking to the wind, like blowing into the wind and shit. And now finally I'm like now intrigued now because I'm like, why are you such a like why are you so boring? Let me figure this out. <laughs> uh, and he was like, alright, so me got me right now. Like are you like right now like burning energy got me? Or are you like uh, one of those types that's like, now you have a lot of fun? Yeah, yes, for me too, obviously. <laughs> I don't think I would be like the kind of guy to be considered introverted. All right, so in that case, I'm gonna guess that you're the type that is very into adventure, right? See, now I'm actually, now what I'm trying to do is put her in a box so that she'll actually be more open to pull later. So if she tells me she's adventurous, she takes the action and says, I'm adventurous. Now when I try to close later, I'm like, hey, you wanna do something crazy? Wanna get high school drunk and jump in a swimming pool? Uh, skinny dipping, jump in a swimming pool? It's like, like, what? Well, I have to say yes, because I said that was adventurous earlier. People have to be consistent with their personality and their egos. She says she's adventurous, she puts herself in the adventurous box. If you want the actual scientific term for that, it's commitment and consistency, you can look it up. It's a whole principle of psychology, but when someone makes a commitment that they have a certain identity, then they want to be consistent with that identity. And they've done a lot of studies that show, like it sounds like, that sounds a little weird, 
Uh, but they've done a lot of studies that show it actually affects people's behavior in measurable ways. Mm -hmm. it's, it's the action feeds narrative and ego again. It's like, I think what it is, is like your brain's trying to figure out where the tribe is. And now if you, if you, if you risk your status in the tribe, everybody else gets uncertain. So like, let's say like I'm an introvert and I start becoming extroverted. Now, guess what? Now everybody's like, fuck, this guy's starting to step up to plate. Does that mean now I'm lower status in the tribe? Does not mean I get less bitches? Does not mean I guess let, let get less resources for my kids? So now everybody's going to come down on you. So like your brain's like, I got to stay consistent because I don't want the tribe kicking me out feeling uncomfortable. I got to stay consistent with who I am. So like right now, that's like, so now she's in my tribe. She needs to stay consistent with what she says. Adventure. Yeah. Like you like, like crazy experiences. So you like Yeah, she said, yeah. So now she's in the box. Now she's going to try to stay consistent with, uh, with adventure. Or are you insane? Oh, okay. Okay. Oh. oh, and right here, I, I pull them away. So they're going to go the long route. I'm like, nah, 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 it's time for me to lead. So now you get them on a yes ladder. So if I was going to set longer, I'd do a lot more of these. Yes ladder. Get them to take little compliance things. This is a really simple thing. So small, but they're literally going to walk all the way around using the paraplegic walkway because the girl has no idea where she's going and she's probably distracted by you and your golden, your beautiful locks, you know, probably like dazzled by your, your beautiful eyes. And she's like, I don't know where I'm going. Oh my god. And so like I stop her right here and I tell him, follow me. Wait, where's she trying to go? Because she needs to go up the stairs. Let's go to loops back up. Let's look for wheelchairs. Hey, hey, hey. I'm not afraid to lead. Yeah. I'm dominant. Oh, no. I'm a leader. Lead us to the promised land. I got us. We actually got this way. You're going up the long way. So you see how it loops back like this? We have to go straight. Yeah. <laughs> you see yeah. how layered this is though? Like it's like over a period of time, you stack them like bricks. It's habits upon habits upon yeah. habits upon mindsets. You build them yeah. to their habitual yeah. and they yeah. just happen. Yeah. I'm not I'm thinking about this. I'm like, I totally just pissed the fuck out of my friends. I feel bad about that. I'm saying that too because I'm a little bored. And I know that he's following me. I feel bad about the fact that somebody's filming me and following me this entire time. And also too, they're going to Taco Bell. This is a boring set. I'm going to lose this because I'm going to get bored. So I'm going to hit it. On, I'm going to leave on the high note. Leave on the high note. Get the phone number. Now the last emotion, she's going to feel a contextual feeling. So remember the overall feeling of the, of the conversation, but the, the, you want an exclamation point when you get, when you leave that, because if you leave on a, on a low note, that's she's going to remember the low note more than anything else. And she's going to be like, ah, eh, I'm not going to text him. And on the high note. Um, if you guys, get that later. My friends are super cool. You guys want to come drink with us? I'm sober right now. So this is another thing a lot of guys do wrong. You, 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 I'm gonna get a phone number and then try to figure out like the how to meet up with her later. Get it now. Get it right right when she's in front of you. Because again, while she's in front of you, the emotions are higher. And like now, she's gonna invest again. Uh, uh, action equals uh, follow through. So if she tells me right here and now that she's gonna actually meet up with me, now guess what? Now she's actually more likely to meet up with me. So that, that's a big thing about this. Um, now because she's like now, but also too, if she says, oh no, I'm busy, blah, then like what I'm going to do essentially is just like, oh dude, don't even fucking worry about it here. Get throw you down, you never will figure it out later. Also too, it shows her that I'm also not being a player. I actually want to hang out with you. I want to get to know you. I like you. You're actually cool. Let's do something. But when we started, you guys totally cut me out. What? Why are you killing her? Uh, I'm trying to hold. Oh, I told her I was sober. I like how they judge you for being sober. Why are you sober? Like that's a bad thing. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to brag What's too. Wrong with you? I'm trying to brag. So a lot of girls, because I, I talk the way I do, I every so often it's like, you know, like if you, if you build your body up, like I imagine Dylan, for example, built up his body minus steroids and everybody kept being like, you have steroids. Like you'd be fucking pissed off. You're like, dude, I worked at this shit. And like, then like, you know, I'm out here not drinking, doing this stuff. And the girl's like, you're not drinking? Or you, you, you drank a little bit, didn't you? You drank something. I mean, so I'm like, no, I didn't take steroids. I did this for like 10 years. Um, I don't know, I used to smoke a lot, drink a lot, I just don't want to be that kind of person. Age is really bad. I'd rather look like, what's the word? Uh, I don't look 50 when I'm like 30 or something like that. And it's not, it's not a very amazing look. Not the more sexy looks. And I should think of that because some women love older looking guys. Yeah. <laughs> but I don't want to be that older looking guy. That makes sense. So remember I told you, I told you guys about the whispering, remember that? Whisper to pull people in, so I've been talking really loud. So if you guys actually want to hang out with us, so I'm pulling them in with the whispering. Man, the cameraman got such a good shot there. <laughs> Props to that guy. <laughs> You're like, fuck this, <laughs> I want to go. <laughs> That's that look right there. It's like, please, like, let me leave. <laughs> <laughs> You're so bored. <laughs> this is up to you. I know we're like we're there's always that there's always that moment where you might hate us. You can always like ditch us, alright? Go for it. But at least we're not from Utah. And we have luscious hair. 
Yeah. I mean, we'll make you Dallas Center soccer, but. We're here in a month for people like you hurt their feelings, but I'm sorry. I don't have feelings. I, if I didn't like talking to guys, I probably wouldn't talk to them. Like, we literally watched three blocks like, See, now I'm trying to like let them know that I'm not a player. So I'm trying to like, oh yeah, we invested. Dude, I would not have walked three blocks with you if I didn't like you. I'm picky. Like, that's what I'm trying to say here. Basically, I'm trying to say to her, I walked three blocks with you. So I don't walk three blocks with anybody. Literally, if you bored me, I would have just walked away. Like, that's a really good way of saying I'm not a player. Like, I'm picky. Like, players, players, are, players are not picky. Players are, they'll fuck anything. I don't fuck anything. I fuck per girls that I like. If I, if I don't wake up next to you in bed and like want to keep talking to you, hang out with you, if, I don't, if I'm not feeling, <laughs> if I don't feel like I actually care about you as a person, or I want to have a conversation after sex, I don't want to have sex with you to begin with. And to be honest, I'll also brainwash myself and sometimes if a girl's hot and be like, wow, you have such a great personality so you can get the sex and I'll still be congruent to it. But at the same time too, um, for the most part, like I, I actually mean that, like I mean that in a big way. Especially if I'm gonna keep hanging out with a girl. If I hang out with a girl for any period of time, like more than like, you know, just like come over, fuck you, kick you out, like I probably like you as a person too. Like I, I categorize girls into different tiers. Do I never wanna to talk to you, see your face ever again? Um, one night stand, uh, fuck buddy, and then a girl that I wanna have consistently in my rot like cotation, then a main girl type of thing. Bottom bitch. The bottom bitch, yeah. No, me neither. We actually, oh, I have a Yeah. We're really close. See, you always pay attention to your friend and your wing over the girl. If you ever choose your, the girl and you listen to the girl over your friend, you're a loser. The girl's gonna see that and be like, oh, he, he like he doesn't value his friends very highly. Like I'll ignore the girl when she talks and my friend talks. Very Every common time. mistake, actually. Yeah, <laughs> very super common mistake. Your friends are like higher value. Yeah, wait, it's than like they saw blood in the water and everything else just disappears in their minds. They're like, girl, I have a chance at getting laid and everything else. It shows means. desperation. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Mm -hmm. And that they don't like their friends, so why are they with people they don't like? Exactly, because you don't have any other choice but to right. have these are friends. Scarcity, desperation, nothing good. And the girl, like, you care about the girl so much, you're just like, zoned in on her. Like, you should be like, whatever, you know, if it happens, it happens. Gee, we were joking about this, because I have an offensive sense of humor sometimes, but some people don't get. I'm, the reason I'm saying this offensive sense of humor is because I'm trying to tell her I'm a, I'm a wild stallion, I do what I want. So does he. So we... It's another hidden DHB. What? <laughs> <laughs> so, we're, we're oh, she looked at the camera too. Yeah. <laughs> She's wondering. Yeah, I saw. It that. Not like, no, no, no. Make everybody in the world oh no, 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 definitely not filming. Yeah, He's still texting me back too. Yeah, I can say I can. Yeah. Yeah. He got some like Mexican with the girl who got really mad about him saying that. So now I got mad. Well, I didn't get mad. I started messing. Well, yeah, I got mad. I got touched mad. Yeah, I, I feel like it's a way of bullying people. Like it's like a socially acceptable way to bully people. I don't like it. So I basically was calling her out on it. She didn't like it. Said shit. She just slaps me. Basically, I'm saying I'm a bad boy that does what he wants and like calls people out for their bullshit. Basically, I'm saying I have boundaries. And I was like, which you know, see the eye contact. Watch the eye contact too. Turn me on, obviously. Oh, no, no, no. Just turn on. So, let me talk about that. Let me know if it's popping or whatnot. Like, and there's DJ, like, cushion there or something like that. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm joking with her about Taco Bell, saying if there's DJ cushion, Taco Bell, and whatnot, let me know. Because she's like, they're really fascinated with Taco Bell for whatever reason. They have to go get Taco Bell. So, I'm joking with them about that. I kind of get it. Yeah. That's actually was the callback humor. He's in the text, too. Yeah. Yes, though. I mean, if you start picking up Tiesto and whatnot, like, I'll, I'll fall into the background and I'll understand. So I said, if you go and end up, like, with Tiesto and whatnot, like, all right, I think I said, fuck Tiesto or whatnot, um, I'll fall into the background and I'll understand. You know, then I said, Listen, I think I said something about being, like, you know, letting me get in on it, too, because the guy's famous. So basically, again, I'm showing I'm adventurous and I'm non-judgmental. Dan, just let me know. Like, I don't take sex as that big a deal. You can fuck your girl, you fuck guys. I fuck girls. Like, it's not weird if you have sex. You're not a slut if you have sex. So now, if, we, if I get her alone, she's like, this guy won't judge me for having sex. I can get it in on it too with him, okay? Alright, he's sexy. Alright, good. Okay, have a good night. Hey, we see, I'll See, the, the backwards walking is so, like, weird too. I always backwards walk because it's, it's, uh, it's cocky, but they, like, yeah. It, it's, like, really minor, but it's something I always do. I always walk backwards because it's minorly cocky, it's punching through. It's like, you know, I'm not really caring if people are in my way, people move. Um, it's, so, it's so minor, but it makes you, it's like, I'm taking an extra rate action, put myself on the zone. Also, too, if she, if she ends up looking back at me while I'm take back, walk, walking backwards and hold eye contact with her, and it looks cocky, too. I can, if she did that, too, I would have winked at her. 
<laughs> Enthused? <laughs> You're like, fuck this shit. <laughs> you never got wings ever again after that one. Yeah. <laughs> Stand for something to die for nothing. Let's start the discussion. One thing I 